What's up? This is Squad 2448. We're following Senator 17 views. Today we'll be doing some mobile home construction here on the mowing map. We'll be removing all the grass, compacting the dirt, spreading gravel, and we'll be putting the mobile home into place. The equipment we'll be using today will be the brand new 410 dump truck, the utility trailer, the John Deere track skid steer with a brand new attachment to remove all of the grass. The skid steer bucket, we do have an international mobile home hauler at the job site, along with a new hauling tractor and cultivator. Up first, we'll be hopping here in the dump truck, which is like the in-game semi-truck with a dump bed on the back of it, which looks pretty cool. We do want to drop down this axle, since it's going to be a lot of weight, we do have it full of gravel, and we do want to turn on the beacon lights. I would like to thank each and every one of you for all of the continued support here on the daily videos. You guys are awesome with all of the positive feedback and video ideas. As you guys can see, that looks to be right on. So we'll definitely hop out here, use the manual to attach mod and attach and with this truck it actually will make sure that the trailer does sit level which is nice and that is very realistic up next we'll be turning on the John Deere 333D skid steer and we'll be loading this on I thought it would be pretty cool to kind of change it up and use a track skid steer since we use a lot of wheeled ones lately and we will be loading this on kind of going forwards because this attachment is so heavy and we actually use a very similar attachment but it was made for the tractors with the three points then we actually found a mod to kind of convert the three point over so I mean pretty cool getting a brand new one that will work just like the old one but this is a bit more realistic for a skid steer so we'll be folding up the ramps and we'll be heading out here from our shop and this is a brand new mobile home park and we will be putting in the final one today which is exciting and we are on the mowing map which it should have been released within the next few days so stay tuned for that but overall this is one very cool truck I really do like the dump bed on it I might kind of change it dump it so that I can make it color changeable to go along with any kind of color combo if I would like but I did kind of choose the blacked out wheels on it and overall this looks pretty cool I'm very excited to be back here doing some mobile home activities you guys have been really enjoying all the mobile homes in the past uh, from the hauling to making the gravel pads but today we'll be doing everything putting it into place and we actually had a company kind of deliver it for us which is nice they did leave the truck to kind of uh, make it a bit easier since we do not have any vehicles rated to tow a uh, large trailer like that especially since that does have giant tow mirrors everything like that we could easily use this truck but kind of backing it up will be a bit of a challenge and at, like I was saying earlier guys this is pretty much the in-game uh, smaller semi truck just with a dump bed on the back which is awesome I mean you do have this awesome inside view so we should be coming up here on it very very soon and as you guys can see we do not actually have the load lock so I'm surprised that bucket was able to stay on it but we are just about arriving here at the mobile home park you guys can see it looks like they parked it up right along the other ones which is nice nobody has yet to be moved in since uh, we are doing the last one and they want it to be complete before they kind of move on so I think we'll kind of uh unload the trailer right about here to give us the room needed for over there so I think this is perfect we'll definitely keep the truck running since we will be using that and up next we'll be hopping into the John Deere I'm very excited to be back using this I mean this is a very cool highly detailed and overall one awesome looking skid steer which is pretty exciting we'll be coming over here and before we kind of start I do want to kind of take a visual look on exactly how we will be doing this so we'll kind of come over here awesome first person view and as we take a look at all the other ones looks like they come and they are parked here at an angle so I think we'll just kind of go right like this straight all the way back and kind of go right uh to that tree so I think we'll kind of do that so up next we'll be kind of hopping in this we do actually have to turn this on as you guys can see take a look at that guys this will remove all of this grass no problem whatsoever which is going to be a very nice thing I think that this is the perfect location to start out actually we do want it a hair over here since we do want to have the driveway everything like that we'll be lowering this down and we will be activating this to kind of let it plow and I mean take a look at this guys this is the first time using this brand new attachment and overall I mean this thing looks awesome it really does fit the skid steers a lot better than the previous attachment we've been using so we do want to go back all the way to the trees that looks to be good we'll kind of back up we want to raise this up definitely do not want to kind of back drag but I mean this is one awesome one so I think we'll just do two passes in and then two passes should be good enough for us today which should be nice 
And as you guys can see, I think we'll do just a, probably a half a pass on the left side to make room for the parking spot for the vehicle. And overall, I'm very excited that we are here on the mowing map. But if you haven't already, I do recommend you go check out the video where I let you know that we are building a brand new map for farming sim. It should have just around 10 farming fields in a very large town, which should be pretty exciting. As you guys can see, that's pretty much it. Now we removed all of it, so we'll deactivate that, turn it off, and we'll kind of go bring this back over there. I mean, really good job so far, and it looks like this still wants to remove some of it hopefully it does not remove any as we kind of make our way over here but overall this attachment worked really well for us so before we disconnect the trailer i do want to go get that bucket off the front of it now it's not always the best thing to drive a skid steer on this way so we do want to be pretty careful as we load on to get it I do appreciate all of the support here on the daily videos. I say this in every video, but you guys are awesome, and without you guys, a lot of this will not be possible. So as you guys, since we got this unloaded, and actually before we can even kind of unload the dump truck, we do have to compact it. So that looks pretty good right about there. We'll definitely disconnect that so that we do not have to do it later. I really do like using the manual attaching, but we rented this from the tractor supply, and pretty soon here on the new map, we'll definitely have a lot more dealerships like a John Deere dealership, a lot of different ones, which should be very nice. But as you guys can see, this old New Holland is, if you would say, squatting in the back just because of how much weight is on it with this cultivator. But we'll definitely back up here. Now we're actually looking to kind of a compact, kind of a skid steer rake. That's probably what you would call it, a skid steer rake. And I will definitely look for one of those. We use them in the past, kind of converting a uh, cultivator to a skid steer rake, but I think it would be a very cool thing to get one of those. And if you do have any cool modding ideas, let me know down below in the comments. I would like to kind of build a few new flatbeds and maybe even kind of branch into some service trucks, everything like that. And I've also been getting a few questions about the excavating video for the construction company and that uh, building the shop series. I will kind of uh, be doing that. I am looking into kind of fixing the bug that I am having a problem with where it will not let me excavate the ground. But as you guys can see, I mean, we finished, which is awesome. We're just going to pull forward here and park it up. I think we'll park it up just like this, turn it off completely. We do not want any of the lights running. But overall, that was pretty easy. Awesome job there. And I mean, compacting it came out very nice. Now, if we were not to compact it, the gravel would kind of go into all of those different sections, which should not be good, and that will overall not work out good. Up next, we'll be kind of backing this dump truck all the way down in there, and we'll be just kind of unloading it and driving kind of towards the gravel, and we do want to meet right with that. As you guys can see, I do want to go in the center, since as we do kind of drive over it, it should compact down. So definitely kind of unload, and we do want to drive forward. We do not want to stop in one area, but as you guys can see, I mean, this is a very simple way and easy way to unload a lot of gravel we do actually have a lot left inside of the truck which is nice and I think that we might have to kind of create a small pile which we will actually do so it's kind of a uh, unload that and I do want to pull forward here just make a small pile in that way for the skids here we could easily just kind of take that for now but we'll definitely kind of actually I want to drive over with this dump truck it's so much heavier than the skid steer especially with all of that gravel on the inside as you guys can see when you do drive over this it's a very realistic thing and all of the gravel does spread out which is nice and it actually looks like there is some that will have to be done but we're just going to continue to use a few passes as you guys can see it did spread out quite a lot on this side so we'll just kind of continue to do just a little bit more that edge almost looks awesome so it looks like we might have to do a little bit of touch up to this uh left edge as we kind of look at it straight on and then the right edge we do have to add a little bit more so i think we'll just kind of uh like we're saying create a little pile which we do have and i think we'll just create a little bit larger one and I think that's probably going to be good. So next up, we'll be hopping in the skids here, and we'll be doing a lot of work with that now. As you guys can see, I really do like using high-quality mods in all of the videos now. I will be trying to use as high-quality mods as possible, kind of how about with the realism and everything like that. But take a look at that, guys. That pile was literally like one bucket load or two, which is nice. We're just going to drive over this, and hopefully we do not end up getting stuck. Sometimes you do, but it looks like this skid here doesn't have the best ground clearance uh, also. So we do have to watch out for that. We'll raise this up. This does have pretty slow arms on it. I will have to look into kind of fixing that, speeding it up a bit. But overall, I mean, so far, this pad looks awesome. We'll kind of lower this back down, and like I was saying, I do apologize for for that it's a bit slow and we do want to kind of clean 
clean up this area by collecting a lot of it. As you guys can see, I mean, really good job so far collecting that. We'll back up and kind of do this last pile right about here. If you do have any cool farming sim video ideas, let me know down below in the comments. I'm very excited for all of the very cool videos coming this year and within the next few weeks and months. As you guys can see, we got right over there, so when we do drive on it, it will spread out. Then we do just have to kind of keep going along this edge here and unloading. I really also do like giving you guys a variety of first person and third person. I think it's a very cool thing to do and you guys have been getting a lot of cool different games here on the channel. So let me know if there's any other games you guys would like me to feature because I really do enjoy playing the different games. And as you guys can see, this skits here only has a maximum kind of unloading and it's not too much, which is uh, probably a big upgrade that I will have to do to the hydraulic system. But we'll definitely lower this back down, and I do want to kind of clean up this little back area. There looks to be a little bit of a pile, which is good. We kind of clean that up. We do have just a little bit more to kind of do this little patch, and then that is pretty much it other than, like, the front section. But overall, we did a very good job so far. We'll just kind of drive forward. That looks to be good. We'll get this little tiny patch, and once we get this, take a look at that guys we got that patch and when we do drive over it should kind of spread into that which is nice i really do like how this all works out with the building materials mod so definitely get this last section here As you guys can see, we did a good job so far. Next up, we'll be kind of coming over here, and we do just want to kind of uh, take this uh, gravel pile and spread it out right here at the start, especially since we really do need to kind of clean up, blend the new gravel to the uh, old one as good as we can. We'll definitely try to get a full buck load here. As you guys can see, it looks like we just about do have one, which is good. And we'll definitely kind of come over here and uh, kind of start to unload it. I think we'll kind of back up and just kind of clean up this edge just a little bit more to make it even nicer than what we do have it. But wow, this John Deere looks awesome. Really does a good job. And I think I will just have to kind of fix the uh, mouse controls or the sensitivity of the skids here hydraulics. And overall, this would be nice. And also make it so that the hydraulics can unload just a little bit more. But sometimes with different skids ears, they do have different hydraulic systems, which do not always work the same but as you guys can see I mean that's pretty much it there and we do have almost all of it blended out which is nice we're gonna come over here lower this down we'll scrape up some of this and then we should be good As you guys can see, we did scrape up quite a lot, which is okay, and some of that will just kind of blend in over the next few days when you do kind of drive on it. But take a look at that, guys. We were able to kind of do this so far, which is nice, and the last thing we will have to do to conclude today's video is to hop in the International and back that into place and get the deck all set up. So it looks like we will have to move the dump truck. We want the maximum room for moving around, and overall, this was one awesome mobile pad, one of the best ones we've done in quite some time so the last thing we'll be doing is hopping in the international you guys can see this was made for mobile home hauling which is nice and we'll turn this on we'll definitely kind of turn very sharp over here then turn all the way back and i mean there's not too much room for errors here on backing up but take a look at that guys this color actually matches the uh other three around them so one on the left two on the right which is pretty interesting how they ordered the same color and these were actually ordered by the customers so we'll be backing this into place as you guys can see awesome size uh, pad looks like we did a very good job we'll just have to move it just a little bit more to the right and we should be good as you guys can see, that looks to be good just about there. Next up, we'll be kind of switching over here and activating both of them. And take a look at that, guys. We did a really good job there with the driveway and the stairs. So that looks to be good. We'll kind of come out here disconnected. And overall, today was a very successful day, kind of putting this into place. It looks like the manual attaching did not work there for a moment. But take a look at that, guys. We got the mobile home into place with a very nice pad. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And subscribe for more.